sweet, so you know that's easy ease. Them niggas was in the school, them niggas was in the streets. I was trying to get my dicks up, rubbing hoes between the sheets. Ain't know she had a boyfriend, now I'm dodging niggas toting heat. Niggas always acting, I just don't know who they supposed to be. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D Lo, aka Turtle, aka Young Go, and I'm back with another YouTube video, man. Now, Today though, we gonna be talking about some uh about something that I was thinking about today, man. I was really thinking about all the times I got my ass whooped as a child, man. Yeah, so if you're new on with your like, share, subscribe, leave some love in the comments, let me know what y'all want me to talk about, man. And pretty much what happened what was on my mind, I was wondering, like, cause I be seeing a lot of stuff about people whooping their kids. And I see it's a lot of people that's like, no, don't whoop your child, it's abuse, da da da. And it's like people that's like, bro, I'm about to whoop your ass, bro. Like legit. No cap. So it's like I feel like I'm more on this side, but I do understand it's like a third side where it's like, okay, you damn near abusing your kid. You see what I'm saying? So it's like I feel like it's a it's a happy it's a happy medium. You feel me? You don't want to beat their ass too much because then it's like niggas gonna be scarred for life. You know what I'm saying? They gonna start probably, you know, beating on other people and shit to get their frustration, and anger out. Um, but it's like I don't know which one. I would like I feel like I was the happy medium, but at the same time, bro, I feel like I feel like sometimes like. Pops will probably get a little too old, too happy with the ass whooping. Like, I feel like I shouldn't be getting my ass whooped and see my parents smiling a little bit. You see what I'm saying? Like, like this, this you like they play that. This is gonna hurt me more than it hurt you, bro. But, bro, you you look like you having a good time. Like you look like you practicing, you practicing that swing with that right. Like you, ah, like that nigga look, used to try different techniques and shit. Nigga used to try to. Uh, uh. So like, like let me think. Like one time, I remember one time, I like this is probably one of the worst, most embarrassing ones, because bro, I I watched it happen. Like I was in school playing around, messing around with the kids, ah, you know, playing around and stuff. Got the you know got it to it with a teacher. I told the teacher some wild junk. I was in like the fifth grade, bro. So it's like, nigga, fifth grade, you still you know what I'm saying the principal like you hear principal's office, you like oh shit. So I'm like. Like, go to the principal's office. I'm like, all right, bet. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Acting hard as hell. And my pops, now, my pops wasn't always in my life. Like, I'm going to explain this, too. Like, that nigga was, like, one of them in and out niggas. You see what I'm saying? Like, this nigga was in and out. Like, legit. Like, nigga pop up for, like, three months, disappear for a year. Pop up for, like, another month, disappear for two years. Like, he was one of those. So, I went to the principal's office. And the whole time, I didn't know pops was in the city. So, I'm like, he like, yeah, we just got off the phone with your dad. I'm like... My who? Who? My pop? My, my huh? My dad, nigga? I'm like, nigga, I ain't even spoke to that nigga. How the f how y'all speaking to this nigga? They're like, yeah, we just got off the phone with your dad. He's on his way up there. Up here. Da -da -da. I'm like, bro, what are you talking about, bro? So in my head, I'm like, bro, I haven't spoken to my pops, nigga. In my head, I'm like, bro, I ain't spoke to my pops in maybe like four months at the time. So I'm thinking like, dog, ain't no way in hell they was on the phone with this nigga. I'm like, they gotta be talking about my uncle or something. Bro, I see this bean head nigga walk in the office, bro. I was so sick. And it was annoying because my pops is weird. Like, this nigga would be, this nigga was one of them, like, he was one of them niggas that'd be, that'd come to the city to see his kids, but not see his kids. Like, that nigga would be just driving around. Just pop up just to watch us. Like, make sure everything cool. Like, yeah, okay, they good. And then a the nigga leave. Like, I can't say what up, my nigga, but, uh, anyway, so I'm like, so I'm looking at him, that nigga looking at me. So he like, so what's going on? He chopping it up with the principal, da 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 da. And she like, yeah, yeah, he just been doing this and that. He told his teacher this. And he was like, oh, really? So in my head, I'm like, bro, I ain't seen this nigga. And maybe, cause I know I, I ain't spoke to him in four months, but I really, but I ain't seen him even longer. So it's probably, I, ain't, I think around that time he had left like about seven months before that. So it was been a second, bro, since I seen him. So in my head, I'm like, bro, I know this nigga. First time being back and seeing me, this nigga not about to whoop my ass, bro. Like, man, like on some 100. Like in my head, I'm like, bro, you telling me I ain't seen you in seven months. In the first day back, your mission is to whoop my ass, bro. Like, like for real, for real. Like that's the whole thing I'm thinking about while I'm sitting there. I don't care about what nobody talking about. He like, all right, all right. You wanna, you wanna show out of class. You wanna show out. All right, all right. And now when he start doing all that, he he get to rubbing his beard. He, all right, I got something for that ass. That's what he. I got something for that ass. 
That nigga just walked out. I'm waiting like, he, I'm like, as soon as I heard I got something for that ass, I knew it. I just knew it was gonna be something. Like, I, I was scared as hell, but I couldn't think, I couldn't think to. I'm like, what's going on? You see what I'm saying? So, I see this motherfucker. Bro, it's, bro, it's like, first off, my pops wears, my pops wears three layers of clothing in the summertime. The niggas, okay, this nigga done been in and out of jail, bro. This nigga crazy. Nigga, nigga had a thermal on. He had an undershirt, right? He had a beater, an undershirt, a thermal, and then a fucking, like, a, a short sleeve button up on top of the thermal. And some big-ass pants, and he always got work boots on. My pops do concrete, so he always got some work boots on. This nigga, I'm looking out the window. Like, you can look out the window to the front of the school from the office. This nigga walked out to the front of the school, bro. And that same, bro, the summer, like, I forgot when, but it was one of the, I forgot when, but everybody had went out one time and planted trees out front, right? So the trees ain't get that big. So they still kind of little. I watched this nigga walk out to a tree that us, as a, as a school planted in the front yard for positive things, nigga walked out to the tree and grabbed a, like a, like a little twig, like a, like a little twig off that bitch. He snapped it off. And I'm watching him walk back into the school and I'm looking at this nigga like, I know this nigga not about to come in here and whip my ass with this shit. I just know he not. Like in my head, I'm thinking, I'm like, I know he not. He, he about to come threaten me. I'm like, bro, I ain't seen this nigga in seven months. I ain't seen you in seven months, nigga. You about to come in here with my ass, bro? I can't believe it. I, 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 I didn't want to believe it. Nigga walked in and didn't say a word. Nigga just got the swing. I'm in that bitch getting, bro, I'm in that bitch trying to block every body part. But the twig, bro, the thing was so, it was like, it'll bend off of something and smack. So I'm, I thought the block, that bitch getting the arm, that's hurting, and the bitch smacking my neck at the same time. So I'm in the chair, bro, I'm in the chair, like, break dancing, dog. Like, I'm I'm doing everything, trying to block this shit. Fuck. Bro, man, I'm like, dawg, this nigga got me fucked. Like, bro, I'm I was down about to hop up and square up with his ass, bro. But one of the bitches not, like, I, like it was hurting so bad. And, like, I'm telling you, like, I don't think th this nigga had no remorse, bro. The principal in there laughing at me, bro. The teachers laughing at me, bro. The, the, the people that be in there on the phones by the little front desk part, office ladies, I, I don't know they, I don't know their names, position, they the office ladies. They laughing. They all laughing. I, they're not laughing out loud, but I can see it in their face. Like as I'm as I'm getting tortured in the seat, bro, and my body turning, I'm throwing up. I just see him. I just see him just looking like, mm hmm whoop his ass, whoop that nigga ass. Cause I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I used to be in there doing all type of bad shit through the school, bro. Cause I used to get that threat all the time. Cause my pops been up there before, but they would know that he would be out of town, or they didn't know he would be out of town, but he would pop up like like how he did to whoop my ass. But they will always say, I'ma call your dad up here. I'ma call your dad. He said, always call him if he if you're doing something wrong. And I'd be in my head like, man, shut the hell up. This nigga is in Ohio. I could do whatever I want. They, Cause you call my mom, my mom, my mom a sweetheart. You know what I'm saying? She she love the kids, you know what I'm saying? She ain't gonna do nothing to me. She not gonna touch me. What could you talk about? But him, nigga, that nigga came, that nigga came to beat ass, bro. Like, so I'm trying to think like. Like, was that really healthy, though? Like, I feel like... But then again, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be 100. Like, you can't talk... Like, bro, it wasn't no talking, like... Because I was still kind of messing up in school throughout the year. You know what I'm saying? After the ass whooping. So I know a talk wasn't going to help me. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that wasn't too bad. Like, ones that I thought was overdoing it, bro, is like... One time we was on a freeway. And I'm not going to speak about all the times he whooped my ass, bro. Maybe, like, this one and probably one more, but... Like, we was on a freeway. This was me, my sister, and my little brother, right? So, this all three of us in the back seat. And we, and he driving. And it's one of them, like, the ones where it's, like, on the side of the road, like I said. Like, that was that nigga's specialty. That nigga would go get a... And look, this this the thing that would irritate me. He would peel the, the, the bark off or, like, the little skin of that shit off. And it would be green. You know what I mean? You, you, bro, you know what I'm talking about. That boy would be green. He would peel, he'd peel it off. That boy be green, it'd be a little moist and wet. You know what I'm saying? It'd be a little wet. That, that mother, I heard it, bro. So, 
We was on the freeway. We all, me and my little brother and my sister, we in the backseat. We all arguing. We arguing. We playing. We doing too much. Being loud. We just being kids in the backseat loud. Now, this is one of the ones I think he is when it's bad. The nigga pulled over to the side of the road, turned around and said, if y'all don't stop playing right now, I'm going to whoop all three of y'all asses. I don't care where we going. I don't care about nothing. I will stop. I will hop out this car and come back there and beat y'all ass. So I'm like, we like, all right. So, you know, kids get quiet. You know what I'm saying? I bump my sister. She bumped Josh. You know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? We start playing again. Getting loud. That nigga pulled over. He hopped out. And did the same little walk to the, to the tree. Nigga went to the tree. He grabbed a nice one. He grabbed a nice one. This one was, because this wasn't a new tree. Like, that nigga, he, I don't, he, this nigga was a professional switch finder or, or whatever you want to call it. Twig finder, whatever. This nigga was finding him. Nigga found it. He peeling it off, coming back to the car, peeling it off. Nine in his head. We already knew what the fuck was going to happen. This nigga got to swinging on the whole back seat. I don't even think this nigga was looking. I think he, he was just. Throwing that bitch. He didn't care who got hit. And Joshua, now Josh, my little brother Josh, he was all the way on the other side of the car. So he low-key in the safe position. It's mainly me getting that ass whooping because I'm on the, my sister was in the middle. I'm right here in the door. He's swinging in. So I feel like I'm getting most of the hit, bro. My sister didn't call some of them boys too. Josh over there, he kind of acting like he acting like he getting hit. Because he, because he, you know what I'm saying? He got to play it off like, ah, you know what I'm saying? Because if he, if he not playing it off, he just laughing. He going to come get his ass whooped too. So he, bop. Bow, bow. So he finished. He hopped in the front seat. We thinking he done. Nigga hopped in the front seat. Wah, wah, throwing that bitch. I'm like, bro, like. So I'm th so yeah, I'll just think about that shit, bro. Or like, uh, I told I told my friends all the time, like when he would, I got something for that ass. Like he would say that, and then like sometimes that nigga would just pop up and just be, just be like, I owe you an ass whooping. Like he wouldn't whoop you on the spot. Sometimes he'd be lazy. He'd be being lazy. You owe you an ass whooping. He just say that. You just gotta be prepared. You know what I'm saying? Like, I tell that nigga, I be getting fresh out the shower. Butt booty naked. You feel me? I came with, had a towel on and everything. One time, nigga, nigga popped up with the leather boy. The leather belt, nigga. I'm walking to the room. Nigga, t ah, t why? Why? Nigga, I got water on my back. I feel, bro, I felt like, bro, I almost said I felt like a slave. <laughs> look, bro, don't, don't speak on my ancestry. Nigga, get your ass whooped in the comments. I don't care, dog. But look, that nigga said, my back lit up, bro. When I tell you my back, I froze. I just froze, bro. Like this, the the le bro, the leather absorbed every drop of water. I felt like he it evaporated when he. Psh, I felt like that whole spot right there was dry. I didn't even need a towel no more. Psh, dry. Psh, and the thing, bro, that's another thing. I felt like when you used to swing that shit, that nigga didn't care if it hit your face, your eye, your neck. He didn't care where he was hitting. He don't care what, what he was hitting, where he was eating. Nigga was swinging. And the combinations was was put together so smooth. Like, the nigga would... Nigga, I think that... Bro, I already think that nigga did 360 one time. No cap. I think that nigga... That nigga swung. Pow. Pow. Came back and swung. And spent on me. And it came back. Pow. I'm like, bro. Like, dog, this nigga is sitting here having fun. Like, bro, I think, I think my pops used to have fun whooping our ass, bro. But yeah, y'all. What y'all think, man? Y'all think um it's healthy to whoop y'all kids, man? I'm I'm a I'm a um I'm the type of person I feel like I would whoop my kids' ass because it's kind of frustrating when you telling somebody to do something constantly and they don't listen. And they kind of like pulling your car. Like, can you picture a little version of you pulling your whole car? Like, just pulling your car constantly. Like, nigga, I ain't gotta listen to you, nigga. What? You came out of these balls, nigga. You gonna listen. What is you talking about? Kids, some kids be ungrateful as hell and shit. They be acting like they had hard. Boy, you spoiled. Shut your ass up. But um, yeah, man, what y'all think, man? Y'all think y'all 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 uh y'all gonna be whooping y'all kids, man, or y'all gonna give them y'all just gonna try to talk to them. Um, you know, put them in the corner, give them the timeout, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Let me know what y'all think, man. Peace, love, positivity, that's all I preach, man. Hope y'all enjoy, man. Christmas time is Christmas time. You did, man. Merry Christmas. Well, not Merry Christmas, but yeah, man. Uh, Christmas coming up, man. Happy holidays, man. Stay in that joyful mood. Yes, sir. Love y'all. We out. Bye.